Happy New Year, everybody, or as great grandma would say, Happy Nuez. Welcome to Kara's Cucina, YouTube's first and only Emmy nominated cooking show. I'm Kara DeFalco. Mama D is the guest in the Cucina today, and we're going to show you a classic Italian dish for New Year's Eve. So we are making cotechino. Yes. Which is a very is a typical northern Italian dish, which is the region of Italy that, that your side of the family is from. Yes, and when I was younger, we used to make my mother used to say she was making cutigin. <laughs> I, I never liked very fatty salami type of meal and I didn't like it. Okay. Well, a few years ago I spent New Year's Eve at my favorite restaurant, Senza down in Bayville. Yes. And Chef uh, Giuseppe Grimali came out and he said, you have to have a piece of cutichino with lentils. It's good luck for New Year's. So when he walked away, I sat there and I said, cutichino, could it be? <laughs> he came out with a dish that was, I felt like I died and went to heaven. It was fabulous. Nothing like the cutiging that my but mother nanny would, used to you know, make. That she would make. Um, and he explained to me that it's the product, you have to have the very good product. The right, product. Product. The right and, product. And we do want to say we want to thank A&G, uh, Giuseppe's uh, Deli, A&G Deli of Warren, Warren, for sponsoring us today so that we have our olive oil. And that's also where we get the cutecchino. And uh, as you were saying, the product is important. I'm, I'm going to just show everybody. It turns out cutecchino is, is a product in Italy um, much like uh, balsamic vinegar of Modena or different regional olive oils. Um, it has that PGI or... or uh, specific product of a, of a region uh, of Italy, stamp right. of Italy. So it is something you want to look for when you buy the sausage. It's a sausage. It's a pork sausage. It it's is a, a pork sausage, but this one is very different. Like I said, it, it's like butter. It's fabulous. It's absolutely fabulous. So what you do first is it comes in a, it comes in a foil in packet. A foil packet. And some people think that you have to pierce this. You don't pierce don't the pierce foil. It. Just put it in water and let this... We just It's already cooked, but you partially heat it. We're so going to start, start to heat it up heat in, the, it in up. warm water. Yes. In the meantime, you're going to start the lentils. Yes. So we also so lentils is the side dish or the, the bed that this goes on top of, correct? And why? Because that's for the new year. The, the new, for the new So lentils, the coin of the lentil... Is, uh, or the fact that they look like coins is uh, Italians are notoriously superstitious people. So it looks like money. So you eat lentils on New Year's Eve to bring Good wealth time. and abundance, uh, some financial success into your New Year. So we're going to start that with a little bit of olive oil. Uh, what? I, I want a drum of them. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Um, and then we just have a really classic mix, uh, onion, carrots, and celery. So as soon as my olive oil's hot, we're going to start to saute those. To our lentils, we're going to add in some garlic and just let that get fragrant. I'm going to use my fingers. Okay. And then I put the lentils in because I like for them to absorb some of the oil and the flavors from the vegetables. Okay, explain about lentils. What do you mean? Well, these are a different color than the ones that I use. Oh, so these, yeah, just just check your, your packaging for you. So we're using brown it, lentils. It doesn't make any difference what color, but they come in green. They and come brown. in green, they come brown, red, yellow. You can really use whatever, whatever color you would like. Um, these cook at a, a ratio of one to four. So one cup lentils to four cups of liquid. Um, we're going to be using for the a brown, brown, right? For the brown lentils. Yes. And we're just going to cover them, bring it to a simmer. And these will cook in about 15 to 20 minutes. Again, the brown lentils. So you just want to double check. The green lentils, I think, cook in about the same time. Uh, a little bit longer. A little but longer. I like them to be I don't like them to be hard. Do you like them? Okay, a little al dente. That's fine. We'll make them, whatever, we'll make them nice and your, tender. Whatever your preference. Yes, that's pretty much it. you got to taste them. That's really what it comes down to. you got to taste your food as you cook. So again, we're just going to let this uh, come to a simmer and let them cook off for about 15 to 20 minutes until the liquid is absorbed. And we'll keep tasting them. And when the lentils are the right texture, they're ready to go. And this, I just want to bring the water to a boil okay and then we can shut it off and we can start to prep that because what we're going to do is we're going to wrap 
this in veal. Veal cutlets. In a veal, yeah, just enough to cover it. And then we're gonna saute some onion, put the meat roll in there, and with some Lambrusco wine. And the veal turns the color of the of Lambrusco the wine. wine, so when you slice it, it's got the ring around it, so oh, it's very nice. okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so we that came to a boil, so we pulled it out and we drained the water. Okay, so now I'm gonna... Now we open the package. Now I'm gonna open the package. And I wanna show you, because I know you've never seen this before. <laughs> I've seen the final product, but I've actually, I've never made, that's why I made sure she had to do this with me, because I've not actually done this one by my own. Okay, now there... I did this last time, and I liked how it tasted. There's a, from the... The fat. the fat and everything in there. I'm gonna pour some of that in the pot that we're gonna cook everything cook in. This in now. It's technically called pig's hoof, I think is what this translates to. <laughs> Which is my concern. Okay. Oh yeah, no, it's in its own little yeah. gelatinous state. Yes. <laughs> And you have to be careful because this is hot, and we've got to get that off of there. And then, like I said, we're gonna. Wrap so now this we're gonna wrap veal. this in, in veal cutlets. Yeah, but we gotta get this it. off. Oh, you gotta take the outer. Oh, yeah, we're gonna take this off. Okay. And it just—it's just like a little casing. <laughs> exactly. Oh, okay. Okay, and then we're so we're gonna wrap this and tie it. We're gonna wrap it and tie it, wrap it in the veal and tie it. Okay. Okay. While mom gets the cuticino tied together, I have uh, the fat that we put into the base of our pan starting to uh, heat up a little bit. We have about a half an onion that we chopped up that we're just gonna let start to saute. And caramelize and get sweet. Okay, cuticino's all wrapped up in the, okay, the it's veal cutlet. Yeah, we just use two small, it doesn't have to completely cover everything, it's just to wrap it. We're gonna put it in with the onion. Okay. Okay. And then we have to partially cover it in liquid or you let it saute a little first? Saute a little bit first. I'm gonna up this to like medium. Okay. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of broth and the Lambrusco wine until we it's almost covered. Okay. Okay. So we wanna be able to see it still? Just the top of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, and in the meantime, and just in the meantime, we're just going to keep turning this in here. Okay, so keep browning it to, to start with. Right. Our lentils are uh, on their way, starting to absorb their liquid. Almost done. I just tasted them; they taste good, but they don't quite have that soft texture yet. So a little, little longer oh, on yeah, these. Oh yeah, these too liquidy still. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so, so it doesn't have to have a lot of color because it's going to take the color from the the wine. The wine. So I'm just going to add a little bit of broth. It's a Lambrusco wine. Which again is a very typical northern Italian wine. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> <laughs> it does. Okay, so you go, we go about halfway up. Yeah. Okay. We could go. Oh, halfway up is good. Okay. <laughs> and then we we're, we're just gonna keep turning this so it start you'll see in a little bit it'll start getting the color. Do, does the, the liquid wine. need to simmer or boil or anything, or just? Yeah, this is gonna cook now. This is cook, gonna cook for like maybe 45 minutes. Okay. To an hour. Okay. Okay. So we can, you can cover it, you can do whatever. I don't normally cover it, I just leave it open like this. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So our lentils cooked, we plated them out into our platter. I took the string off, so you see how it picked up the color? But yeah, the, you can really see it where the, the string left off. Yeah. Okay. And now we're just gonna cut it and you slice it. this. Oops, probably should have a fork. You have a carrying one fork? Just oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay, so we serve the cutecchino over the lentils with some of the the cooking liquid. The, the juice. Yeah. yeah. The, the wine. Okay. All right. Let's put this. In, let's see how we did here. I really actually never had this before. Mmm. Oh, it's really good. A nice taste of the lentils, the creaminess, yeah. the creaminess of this. Yeah. It's very nice together. Yeah, you know? it does. This is delicious. All right. Guys, listen, you can get the recipe at CarrieDefalco.com. You can find me, Facebook and Instagram, at CarrieDefalco. This one doesn't really do social media, so we'll leave you alone. But thank you very much for showing us how to do this. You very Happy well. New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. And Happy New Year to you. I'll see you guys next year. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Oh, well done. Mm-hmm.